And continuing on the shortage now, moms in the Midlands are feeling the stress of this formula shortage. Now, some in Lexington County are actually turning to breast milk sharing. News 19's Rachel Rip has more on the methods and what experts are saying. This is where some of the breast milk was stored. You could fit about 15 frozen bags of breast milk in here. Nature's nutrients. Breast milk. Moms in West Columbia, Chapin, and Columbia are sharing milk with other parents and families in need. It's a great feeling. Um, I mean, I, I know there's people out there in need, and I know there's a lot of people who would like to breastfeed and can't, and who would would like to have formula and can't find it right now. Um, and so I'm just thankful that I've been able to breastfeed and that I was able to um, produce enough extra to, to give a little bit back. Krista Hinson has a baby that just turned one, and she gave away her last batch of breast milk on Monday. She says she believes it's safe to share because she's been a donor to the South Carolina Milk Bank for the last year. So I did go through the process to become an approved milk bank donor, which included having blood tests done. And every time they um, accept a donation, they do test that milk. Um, there's also restrictions on what you can and can't consume, um, any prescription medications and things like that. Experts say milk sharing can be safe. If there is informed consent, if there is an open and honest dialogue and conversation between the person who's donating and the person, the family that's receiving that milk, I think that it is a beautiful and wonderful gift that one parent can give to another. And when we're seeing unprecedented times with formula shortages and babies needing to be fed, I think that it is an option that many families should and are considering. But neonatologists warn of the risks. You lose, lose control of how the, the milk is being handled and processed in the safety. So there's always a question of the safety of the milk. Reporting in West Columbia, Rachel Ripp, News 19, WLTX. Well, lactation consultants say that you need to ask questions if you're going to borrow somebody else's breast milk about medications, lifestyle, of course, alcohol and drug use and caffeine and any dietary restrictions and then storing method and expiration date. So a lot of different things to consider if you're going to accept the gift of breast milk.